Well, good morning. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. It's getting so hot, 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 and I'm so sexy. Good morning. It is about five in the morning, and I'm about to give you a remote view. I received a message once where a woman told me that she was deeply offended that I called the fans of the channel sexy because she was 81 years old and how dare I accuse her of being still sexy. Gee, I think I might still be sexy. Only you can answer this question, but I can assure you that the people who watch this channel are the sexiest people around. Okay, let's get into it. If you could like, share, and subscribe, that would be awesome. It appears to me as a remote viewer, like a blueprint, okay? Imagine if you had a blueprint and you were going to construct a housing unit or something larger, like a, a major walking city that had housing and movie theaters. This has become the latest thing. You don't have to drive. Everything is within you know, 10 blocks, like the Grove in Los Angeles, right? It's awesome. <coughs> so, that's what's going on right now in Ukraine. What has been going on is that the West has been playing the long game against the East in an increasingly tense trade war wherein Russia felt like they were being closed out from trade and they had lost previously profitable ports. Like Odessa, the Black Sea, etc., etc., etc. So, While Ukraine was holding them off and we were giving aid and depleting the Russian military by something like 92% now, so they're wiped out, their military is exhausted and wiped out. NATO was constructing a blueprint for taking the Crimean Peninsula, for moving in quickly and taking the Crimean Peninsula. So I believe we're going to be seeing NATO jets coming in. As I said before, I think Sweden is going to be part of NATO, and they now are. Uh, I think Finland and Ukraine will also be part of NATO. I think that, is Finland already part of NATO now? Uh, I think that they are going to, um, which is what I said, uh, and I think that they are going to, uh, Russia is going to surrender. I think uh, that the West is going to pound them in the uh, Crimean Peninsula. I think that Russia is completely bankrupted. I think that Putin will be forced out. I think he could retreat to Siberia. He does have some loyal military that might protect him. He could be placed under some kind of a house arrest. It is not traditionally done in Russia to hand over one of their own uh, to international courts, so I don't think we should hold out for that. However, I do think future Russian leadership will negotiate uh, with the West uh, regarding the pullout of Russia from Ukraine, and I think that this has strengthened NATO and further boxed in Russia and collapsed their economy. Furthermore, they're in such deep trouble in terms of having completely wiped out uh, their infrastructure, 
uh, their intellectuals have left, their young people have either died or left, the uh, morale amongst uh, many Russians is very low. The economy is the worst it's been since post uh, World War II. Um, and in the war words of one Russian uh, youth in Georgia, the whole world hates us. You know, how do you rebuild when you feel like you're the new fascist? The whole world hates us. That can't feel good. And so healing for Russia is going to be a, a very long process. All right, thank you everybody for listening. I'm gonna go make myself some coffee. You sound drunk. Somebody said that, I found that really rude. You know, I do remotes from my bed at six, five, six in the morning, right? Okay, I'm gonna go have some, my, my <laughs> I'm gonna have some coffee, all right? Thank you everyone. Please like and subscribe, God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye.